what might happen if technology stayed the same. We wouldn't develop new ways of doing things. Our learning would stay the same and would be boring. New medicines wouldn't be made to help people. Ways of talking to each other wouldn't get any better. There wouldn't be any new inventions. We discovered that there were a lot of areas that we wanted to explore. We had a look at the past and now we're curious about the future. Some ideas that we came up with were How will people use technology in the future? After much discussion and immersion into the past and present, the children decided that they wanted to investigate future technologies. From this, we needed the children to think epic, and the slogan, everything is possible, nothing is impossible, quickly became part of our classroom dialogue. Our goal was to get the children to think outside their comfort zones, and so we implemented the use of a variety of sources to continue the immersion stage. We use TED Talks as a way of getting the children to realise everything is possible and nothing is impossible. A key learning point for the children was that after being immersed in a variety of multimodal forms, they were challenged to present their ideas to an audience. We provided the students with opportunities to experience what life was like in the past, to appreciate what life is like in the present and to envisage what life would be like in the future. We learned heaps about the past when we went back in time. We spent a day learning how it was done before us. We looked at Aboriginal times, our grandparents' school times, Skype members of our family to ask them about their early life. We discovered that technology had changed over time and so decided to look at timelines of different things. Difficulties that we encountered pertained to the curriculum and how much the students were learning. After much teacher collaboration, we decided to focus on a small amount of specific areas in depth, as opposed to glossing over larger areas of the curriculum. More boundaries to allow time for students to fully engage in the prototyping stage. We would discover different ways that allow us to seamlessly move through the stages of the design thinking process. Immersion. Synthesis. 
ideation, prototyping.